Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to back up your iTunes library. Now, if you are planning on restoring your computer because it's slow or it has viruses or something, then you're going to need to know this. Um, basically, to um, there's two ways that you can uh, back up your iTunes library. And um, um, basically, you can find these on Apple.com and then under support and then under iPod and iTunes. Um, you can find this information there. Um, basically, there's two ways um, that um, Apple states. Um, basically, you can um, you can put all your iTunes data on CDs, which is probably going to cost you money because you're going to have to go to the store and buy the CDs, um, and then which is going to take you, which is going to take like forever because it takes a while to put uh, put to put data on CDs. Um, and if you have like a slow computer and a lot of iTunes data, like tons of iTunes data, it's gonna take it's gonna take you know a long, long time. Um, but um, the way that um, the other way to do it is you can put all your iTunes data on an external hard drive. Um, that's what I did. It's probably the easier way to do it because you don't have to pay to do it. Um, you don't have to like pay to, for any like CDs or anything. Um, that's um, putting it in on, putting it on an external hard drive is the way I did it. Um, basically, it'll um, I have um, 6.33 gigabytes, which is um, 1,107 item um, ba uh, items based. Yeah, 1,107 items. Basically, um, it took one hour, about one hour. It might have been a little more, but I know it was at least one hour to transfer all that all that onto an external hard drive. I used, I enabled my iPod video, I have two iPods, an iPod Touch and an iPod Video. I enabled my um, iPod Video um, as a external hard drive, as an external hard drive, like a flash drive, or whatever, because it has 80 gigabytes on it. S um, so I, uh, I put all, I uh, basically put all my iTunes um, data onto that, and then I restored my computer, and then put it all back on. Basically, what you want to do to, um, back up your um, iTunes library is you want to basically first of all you want to go to you want to go to file you want to go to library then you want to uh, you, um, you want to go to organize library and then make sure that consolidate files is checked um, check consolidate files once you check it then um, I'm not going to do this be um, because I already did it, I already did this, and I don't really have any files that I have to consolidate. So basically, um, consolidate just basically means you're putting all, um, putting copies of all media files used by iTunes in the iTunes media folder, and leaves the original files in their current locations. Um, that basically means that like if you have like Windows Media Player songs or something like that, that you um, that you want to put on your i on your iTunes, all you have to do is open Windows Media Player, drag it onto here drag the song onto here. It will not be stored in here. It'll just mean that you can play it through here. Um, if you want it to be st that song from the Windows Media Player to be stored in iTunes, you click go to here, you click consolidate files and click OK. Um, if you do not have um, um, basically um, I'll show you where your music folder is located. Click on you um, if you have, this is for Windows Vista by the way. Click on start, click on music and then right here it'll say your iTunes folder. Um, double click on that. Um, and then it'll say like album artwork, iPod games, music, all that stuff. Um, basically you want to open iTunes music. And as you can see everything is is uh, organized. My audiobooks. Um, I don't know why those artists are there separately. Um, like in, like in folders or whatever, but um, basically then I have my iPod games, I have my applications, my movies, my music, my podcasts, and my TV shows. Basically, um, if you do not have this, if you do not have it organized like this, then um, this will not be like faded away. It will actually be available to check for you. Um, basically, um, so yeah, if you don't have your iTunes folder organized like this, um, then um, this option will be available for you to select, which basically um, makes your I, I, um, iPod music folder be organized like this. If you already have it organized like this, obviously, like mine, the option will not be available to select because it's already um, you've already done it. But 
uh, basically this is what you this is uh, what you want to do to basically you want to make sure you consolidate your files and then um, make sure this is checked if you are not, if you haven't already upgraded to um, iTunes Media Organizer. Um, when I clicked on it, I was afraid that I was gonna have to pay for it or something. But I clicked on it and I clicked OK, and it didn't make me pay for it at all. So um, um, you don't have to pay for it because it didn't make me pay for it. Um, so basically, um, basically that's how you do that. You basically first you want to consolidate and organize all your files so that when you put it back on your computer, your iTunes knows exactly where everything is. So basically, when you're ready to copy it, uh, when you're ready to copy it, your entire iTunes music folder. Um, basically, um, when your computer is all restored, first of all, you want to um, go. Well, um, I don't have anything plugged in right now because I'm not actually going to transfer to a hard drive because I have no reason to. Um, basically, whatever your device is, I right hear like removable disk E, F, G, H, whatever it's, whatever it is. Basically, you want to you want to click on iTunes. Hold in the don't release the click. Just um, cl um, basically just um, tap iTunes. I'm um, like um, yeah. Drag your iTunes. Uh, whatever. Click iTunes and drag your folder. Um, you can either drag it or just cl or just right click and then just um, click um, copy right here. Um, basically, um, and then basically you want to drag it into the external hard drive that's right here. Um, Basically, make sure you have a US, make sure you have a flash drive that is actually big enough to hold your iTunes library. Because if you do not have, um, if if you do not have like a flash drive plugged in that is big enough to hold your entire iTunes library, it, your iTunes library can get pretty messed up. Because you're just going to be all confused. You don't know. You're not going to know where to put stuff. So I so make sure you actually have a um, a flash drive in that's that has enough memory to hold your entire iTunes library um, and then um, basically um, drag it onto there. Um, it'll tell you how much memory your iTunes is holding up, is uh, taking up. Mine says it's taking up 6.33 gigabytes, but that's actually not all that it's taking up. Um, um, this base, yeah, this isn't, this is just like the items. There's a lot more that's contained in the iTunes folder um, that is taking up uh, memory like when I transferred this um, it said that I have 11 gigabytes worth of di iTunes data but as you can see here it says that only I only have 6.33 um, 6.33 gigabytes so basically or 6.33 whatever you want to say all right anyway so after that it'll take about an hour to transfer it onto your external hard drive then after you transfer it onto your external hard drive um, after you've restored your computer and everything um, download Download iTunes onto your computer. Um, download iTunes onto your computer, and then um, um, go to your computer folder, or not computer, music folder. Make sure there is no folder in your music folder right now that that that's um, is entitled iTunes. So yeah, make sure that that the folder iTunes does not exist anywhere in your music folder. Um, after you restore your computer and you download iTunes and you're ready to put your music back on your computer or iTunes data, you make open music and make sure there is no existing folder right now entitled iTunes. Because um, basically, iTunes will not actually create a folder in your music until you've actually opened it. Um, so basically, make sure there is no existing iTunes folder um, in your My Music folder. Um, but uh, like the the program can be there, but just make sure that the actual folder that contains the music, um, like this, um, exactly like this, um, isn't there. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure your external hard drive external hard drive is plugged in, um, flash drive for whatever you're using. Um, open it, and then um, you'll look for your iTunes folder that looks like this. Drag it, um, and then what you want to do. Um, yeah, you want to look for the iTunes folder that looks like this. Um, click on it, drag it on into your music, and then basically drag it onto, drag it into your music, and let it um, release the click, and then uh, re just release the file into the music, into the music folder, and then it'll be there. And then when you open it up, um, basically, when you, when you open up your iTunes, basically all your music will be here. You don't need to find it. All you need to do is just click on it, and basically it'll play